G'day tech nerds. Um, today we're going to look at the very basics of how to use Google Sheets. What I would like you to do please is I would like you to take notes on this as we're going um, but I'm going to run you through steps. So if you wanted to follow along in a second window next to it um, that would be excellent. Okay so first off how do we launch Google Sheets? Okay, so there's two ways, there's lots of ways, but there's two ways to do this. First, um, we have the Google Apps button here when we go straight to our um, Google homepage. Um, you can tell that obviously a Google nerd is clearly, you know, pretty nerdy. Although not nerdy enough to have no emails present, but there we are. Um, so if we click here, uh, Google Sheets will become an option. We press on that. How do you like that? And see, it then gives us all of the different options of, you know, here are past sheets that we've used. You can use Google Drive as well, um, or we can come up here. Now we can press blank, and that gives us a Google Sheet. Uh, the other thing we can do is this. So we'll open up a new one. Oh, just open up three, close those down. Um, and if I type in sheets dot new we'll see that again the same thing happens so here we have a spreadsheet now this is a sheet here that we're dealing with um, and our book our workbook which is is the overall file so this is a sheet um, so we call this sheet one first give it a name um, Google sheets introduction um, so I got some wires across my thing um, okay sheet one we'll just just put in that there for the sake of it see if we can add up a separate one and we now have a different one different sheets uh, within there so we can click backwards and forwards we have different things now we can rename it so this can be uh, what would we call this test one right um, and if you want to make your life even easier, you may change the color. Now, that's actually quite useful when you have stacks of them. So some workbooks, like I'm a teacher, so we'll have a work a mark workbook that has the marks of all of the students in it, and that can get quite large. So those colors become really handy. Alrighty, so let's look at the basic anatomy of a sheet. Here we have rows on the one here that's a row and there's row one and we have columns and that is column a and we name them according to column then well we name the cells we name the cells according to column and then row so for example this column here is a one uh, this column is a two oh, two this column is b two and so on all right nice and straightforward um, I had a student ask me if aren't spreadsheets just tables and that's one thing we can do with it for example we could write um, age student uh, gender okay and we can keep a table of the information for example 12 um, Harry uh, male uh, 13 um, Sam um, NB for non-binary sure why not let's do that we're an inclusive classroom 12 um, Ella and let's go F for female all right and so we've got a bit of a table and we can do all sorts of stuff with this okay um, we could also be interested in keeping I don't know doing some calculations in it so that's so we can use it to store information and we can use it to do calculations with that information for example um, if we were to go um, fertilizer percent the height this is the one that science teachers love okay 10 percent and it made it to oh, we put our don't forget to put your units in um, always put your units up the top and we put the units at the top because 
um, if we put the units in the cells, these are called cells, these individual squares, if we put the units in the cells down below, it'll stop from working. Um, it won't be able to do maths. It'll treat it as a word and not a number. Um, 17, I don't know. Yeah, that works. Let's just throw a couple more in. All right, they come from an actual um, experiment that some students did. Now, I could want to know what the average height is. Okay, easy peasy. So that's where we start to use equations. So if we press equals, all of a sudden, you'll see it's already offering us a possible thing. Um, if we put equals and we start typing in uh, words, different words, it'll give us different types of calculations. So for example, average, um, I can click this one, and it gives us what the average height is. All right. I could also want to know really simply what are what is this one and this one added together B equals so we click on that cell plus press enter and it starts to do these calculations for it um, I might want to know what is all of what what do all of these added up combine let's give them the option to do it here but I'll do it manually and put a bracket around now we always got to close our brackets on a calculation for using a formula we press enter and it gives us that right so this is those are the basics the basic parts of Google Sheets I hope that makes sense uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments below we'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time bye now